call the meeting to order on the 10th of April. The Pledge of Allegiance, Myrna Molina will lead us in that. to start by uh, thanking you all for this opportunity to speak with you. Uh, what I'm going to be presenting today is a truncated version of uh, what I presented at our volunteer appreciation dinner uh, back in March. And it's basically a wrap up of the volunteer activities for the 2017 year. Um, I'm going to kind of tip my hand and let you know there's nothing but good news coming up on the next few slides. And I want to start today by thanking a lot of the people in this room who support the volunteer program because uh, I am an office of one as it were, but uh, I get so much support through the district to make all this stuff possible. So the directors from uh, Lori, uh, Tracy Smith, uh, the director of HR, Chief Jalafo, the natural resources, as well as operations, um, they all do so much to make the volunteer program a success. So I wanted to start by recognizing them and their contribution. So just some uh, quick uh, 2017 news. The first ever naturalist-led paddle on the Fox River, which is a really neat program that we just introduced. There's opportunities May through October to paddle on the Fox with a naturalist now. We have an Eagle Scout beautification at the Grotto, which I think we're gonna be talking about a little bit more today. Uh, if you haven't seen it, we did several work days scrubbing a lot of the paint and graffiti that had been put on there off. Uh, and then we also expanded our mental health trainings that we're doing for staff to our volunteers. Many of our volunteers are on the front line dealing with the public every day, whether they're docents at our museums or whether they're put, taking people on tours through our windmills. Uh, we thought this was important and we've really, uh, a lot of our volunteers have taken advantage of it, including several of our public safety volunteers like our snowmobile patrol and our mounted rangers. So we have new stewards at our Barnes Forest Preserve and Oakhurst Forest Preserve in Aurora. Uh, this was really good because it's expanding the number of work days we have in the south portion of the county. Uh, we also have courses offered through the Alfred Burstead Foundation Grant. So volunteers can now take courses three uh, for free through the Morton Arboretum to help uh, add tools to their toolbox, whether it's botany or dendrology or all sorts of different plant ID courses. We worked with the uh, Wabanzi Community College on a student day of service. We also are hosting uh, natural resource trainings uh, at Wabanzi. Uh, we have a new brush saw program. Uh, we're giving our volunteers the opportunity to get trained in a lot of the same tools that our staff uses to help, uh, you know, the mechanical advantage really can, can make a huge difference in our natural areas. Our volunteers collected over 200 species of native seed. Uh, native seed is expensive extremely expensive and difficult to propagate. So we have volunteers go out in the fall and help us collect seed, and that seed ends up getting put all over the county, helping beautify and diversify our preserves. Uh, we also have multiple national night out locations throughout the county, and we also are working again very closely with the Morton Arboretum to help develop the Woodland Stewardship Program, which is a program of education for free, again, through our stewards who are our volunteer leaders. So this slide is purposefully very difficult to read and I apologize, but this is just a small example of the groups that we work with on, a, on an annual basis. Uh, every year this, group's, this page continues to get more difficult to read because people keep coming out of the woodwork from schools and religious organizations, community organizations, scout groups, and everyone in between. So these people and these programs touch uh, everywhere from Kane County, from Algonquin to Aurora, and everywhere in between. 
So uh, the volunteer hours by group, our natural areas volunteers contributed uh, 6,900 hours. Trails and recreation were 3,200. Uh, uh, preservation partners who run the Villa Museum, the Durant House, they gave us 700 uh, plus hours. Our education programs uh, with our great naturalist staff run out of Creek Bend gave us over 500 hours. Mounted Rangers patrolling our preserves, going to parades, um, and assisting with parking events gave us over uh, 2,600. Our Fabian Windmill uh, docents and millers gave us over 1,000, and our snowmobile safety patrol actually got to snowmobile for the first time in several years uh, and gave us over 150 hours of their time. So to kind of put that all in a nice package, we had about uh, 659 volunteers as of the first of this year. Uh, we had 24 new volunteers come through orientations in 2017. Um, we had, we've had uh, two orientations already in 2018 and we're already at half of that number. So I'm really hoping we're gonna put a lot more folks through our orientation. And this year our volunteers contributed 15,283 0.5 hours um, of their time, which is actually uh, over a 10% increase from last year. So um, again, we just keep having folks coming and uh, basically spreading the word and this is stuff they like doing and they're bringing their neighbors and their community groups and we just, again, continue to grow. So what I like to do with that number of volunteer hours is there's a workforce contribution and that is essentially what we would have had to pay if we were having this work done by staff. So this includes things like ret um, recruiting, retaining, training, benefits, salary, all that stuff. So our volunteers contributed over $396,000 in workforce contribution to the district in 2017, which uh, again, I just, I'm, I'm thrilled with. Looking forward to 2018, we have an Earth Day tree planting that you guys are all invited to. And also I'd like to mention, I really appreciate uh, seeing you guys out at events and also uh, a lot of you were able to make it to our appreciation dinner in March. Uh, and again, the volunteers really do like seeing you guys. Uh, Earth Day tabling, we're gonna be at Fermilab, which is a great partner of the district. Wabonzi Community College, we're doing a ton with them. We're gonna be on campus for Arbor Day on the 28th. The Girl Scouts are gonna be holding a huge event at Fabian on the 28th as well. Our Cultural and campground sites will be opening, um, whether it's the Windmill, uh, Big Rock, Burnage, all those places. Naturalist lead paddles. If you've never seen the, a lot of our preserves from the river, I think you guys would really get a kick out of seeing some of the preserves and the, and the way that uh, things look from a little different perspective. So again, those opportunities start in May and go through October. Uh, Hooked on Fishing is a great program that we're growing. Um, that's gonna be June 3rd at Oakhurst. Uh, it's basically teaching young kids to fish and then kind of giving away awards and prizes. And then a new program that we're excited about is Monarchs and Milkweeds, and that's gonna be at Creek Bend Nature Center on the 23rd. So uh, again, I know I'm going through these kind of quick, but uh, these are all great events, and uh, you guys are welcome to join us at any of them and all of them. So at this point, that's kind of my presentation. I'd ask if anyone has any questions. Nope, all right, well. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for all your support and I look forward to, uh, to doing this again next year and hopefully with some more big numbers. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bob. You, you're a great part of this force reserve, isn't it? You, you, all you do is make friends throughout the county. And we, we count on those friends to make work for us and they help us at the ballot box. What did we get when we passed the referendum? 65%? People like open space. It's better to keep it than pave it over. Oh, next thing on the thing is the approval of the minutes for March 13th. Deborah Allen, would you like it? Deborah Allen moves to Drew Brown's seconds. All in favor say aye. 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 Both same signs. Move on to the <coughs> approval of the the presentation of approval of bills as per commissioners per diem from March 2018. I'll move. And Mr. Lewis moves. Debbie Allen seconds. This is a roll call vote. If you have any questions, now's the time. Ready to vote? Allen? Aye. Auger? Yes. Barrera? Yes. 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 Price? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Fernandez? Yes. Moshe? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Sorry? 
Is there discussion on this? We're ready to go. Alan? Aubrey? Yes. Burrow? Yes. Davis? Yes. Ross? Yes. Dillon? Yes. Hernandez? Yes. Boucher? Yes. Ishmael? Yes. Cesar? Yes. Leonard? Yes. Lewis? Yes. Martin? Yes. Melina? Yes. Sheffo? Yes. Zoa? Yes. Smith? Yes. Sierra? Yes. Thomas? Yes. Wayman? Yes. Benigny? Yes. It's approved. There's no need for a closed session under President's comment. Is this your birthday month? Uh, Mrs. Allen? Well, happy birthday. Or happy with what? Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis. Lewis. What? Yeah. We're always so glad to celebrate his birthday. Um, I'd like to recognize our friend Jerry Jones, who's in the audience today. Nice to see you, Jerry. Um, the, the concert, uh, concert for the Illinois Park that by, well, is going to be the 24th and 25th. The new president will be there, right? Are you president or chairman? Board of trustees. It's, it, it's in Holscheid's heart and soul, all this open space, saving stuff for the rest of the life. Is there anything else? What's it? Oh, Earth Day 2018, the tree and shrub planting, <coughs> April 21st at 10 a.m., Camp Tomachichi. Open House at Leroy Oaks Forest Reserve, April 22nd, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We need now to put the reports on file. Who would like to move that? Okay, now, Mr. Martin and Mr. Ellender will put all the reports on file. All in favor say, what? And Debbie Allen, too? I just wanted to speak to this. Um, I can't say that I always read them beginning to end, word for word. But when you take the trouble to do that, you get to participate in everything the Forest Preserve does. And it's just, I know it's a lot of work, and I'm sure that you are, you know, <laughs> aggravating yourselves to get those reports done, but we got to see the, uh, the bumblebee protected, we got to see the salamanders trapped, we got to um, uh, hear about the volunteer dinner, those of us who didn't come, we got to um, uh, see operations, getting things ready for spring, we um, learned that our, uh, our, events, um, our events locations that we put so much money into and staff has put so much love into are booked so that they're going to exceed expectations for this year. It's just, um, um, it's a lot of work, but thank you for keeping all of us up on what's going on every day here in our, in our organization. It's just a terrific thing. It's just a shame Mr. Fuller wasn't here to, to hear all the good stuff. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing. Yeah, we don't want to think of burning, Beth. Today would be a good day. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit longer. Is there anything else to come before the board? Is there a motion to adjourn? I think we have to vote on the Did you vote on the report? Oh, sorry. sorry. All in favor of putting, thank you. I need people to watch me. <laughs> all, all in favor of putting the reports in file, say aye. Aye. Whole same sign. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? Mrs. Wagner moves to adjourn. Second against Sarah. Mrs. Sarah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say aye.